Is there actually neuroscience research to support power posing? That's a controversial question. Here's why. First of all, what even is power posing? And does it work? It became famous after a 2010 study suggested that higher power poses like this one can boost your confidence and even change your hormone levels. But here's the catch. Later studies couldn't replicate these dramatic effects, especially when it came to hormones. So what happened? How can science be wrong? The issue is the original paper had small sample sizes and lacked good control groups. A lot of the follow-up research could not replicate the result of the changes in cortisol and testosterone levels. Is there any truth to it? Yes, but with a slight twist. Power posing might make you feel more confident emotionally, but it's not due to some magic hormone boost. It's more likely to do with something called embodied cognition. Basically, when you stand tall, you feel stronger, taller, and more capable. This works like a placebo. If you think it will help, it probably will, but just not in the way that your body reacts. All right, so what can you actually take away from this? Here's the top three things. Number one, use expansive poses to boost your confidence and feel better before job interviews or important meetings. This can help, but just don't expect it to change your biology. Number two is be skeptical of bold claims. <laughs> Check to see if the research has been replicated. Science is all about consistency. And number three, posture does matter. Standing tall and sitting up straight can still help you feel more confident throughout the day. Power posing won't turn you into a superhero, but it can give you a small boost of confidence. Just remember to keep your expectations and your posture in check. Share this with a power posing friend of yours.